local. It's right from the bees that may have foraged on flowers in their own yard. I mean, people really love that whole idea of it, you know. The local VOR movement is really starting to ramp up around here, getting your vegetables and produce, you know, very close within, you know, within sometimes a 50 mile radius. And, uh, and I think honey is part of that movement as well. We want to just let the bees build up their own cone like it's their bones. Zum, 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 busy be a hum. Golden harvest, golden sunshine. I'm just grateful for the opportunity to be on the planet these days when, when it's obvious that the bees need our help. Last few years we've had what's called colony collapse disorder. Uh, many, many colonies suddenly dying. We just didn't go out for a couple days and we came back one day and it was gone. The, the bees were gone? There was a little huddle of bees around the queen and we said, oh, we'll probably, probably get back and we came back the other day, the next day and they were gone. A hundred years ago, nobody moved bees for pollination. There were six hives behind every barn. Grandpa had bees and pollination was an afterthought. But those barns aren't there anymore. Grandpa doesn't have those bees anymore and it's becoming large monocrop agriculture which requires pollination, the movement of pollinators. You know, it's a big business and it's actually it's tough to keep the bees alive because it's very stressful on them. All the researchers talk about how important nutrition is, but there's still that gap of, well, if we want to work on nutrition, we need to work on plantings for the bees. Bee space. Where is the bee space? Where is the place for the bees to be? Ancient Greeks very specifically related to the bee as harbingers of prophecy. And the bees are doing that now.